Hey guys, welcome to Flight Top King. Hey, we just took the viral crack burger and turned it into a chopped cheese. You guys want to see how we make it? Here we go. So let's go over the list of ingredients and how we got to this idea. List of ingredients. We have ground beef, bacon, ranch seasoning, some butter that I thought we could saute the onions in, jalapeno to put in everything, some cheese, some American cheese, and some ranch dressing. All right. Oh yeah, the little hoagie roll thing with jiggers. So uh, we're about to head up to New York for a family vacation. Hopefully we'll be able to go to some, some like fantastic restaurants. We should, we should be able to make some videos out of our experiences up there. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, not exactly sure what we're gonna be able to get into, but there are some lists of places that we definitely wanna go to. So you guys can check those videos out. So if you guys don't know, we've kind of become friends, not kind of become friends, kind of really good friends with uh, the Walt twins. Uh, they do YouTube as well, cooking, griddle cooking, and uh, especially Adam. I talk to Adam on a regular basis. And he said, hey, we just did this video. Uh, it'll post in about a week. Uh, I think you should really give it a go. It's a really good idea. It's a really good flavor. You might enjoy it. Uh, put your twist on it. So we started talking back and forth, and the idea of crack burger came up. Uh, very unfamiliar. I've heard of cracked chicken, but not a burger. So we started typing the internet and all that junk. You guys know how I go let down the rabbit hole. And Heck, it seems like the dang thing's like 8, 10, 12 years old. And I'm like, man, it's just now catching on or something happened where it's like spiked. I'm like, sure, I'll give it a go. So this is the idea. So I appreciate them for reaching out, um, giving me the idea. So this is what we got. The crack burger. What I showed you was kind of like the, the idea. You put in a burger form. What we're going to do is the crack burger chopped cheese. All basically the same ingredients mirroring together, just done a different way. We forgot the sour cream. Oh, Jeez. man. Let me go get the sour cream. So now that hopefully I've got all the ingredients, my head's on strike, let's get started. Just got a pack of bacon. I'm gonna lay down here and cook this all the way through. Then we're gonna break it up and split it into parts for different parts of the recipe. We have some prep work to knock out. I'm gonna finally dice an onion. And of course, we're gonna finally dice that jalapeno. Once the bacon's cooked, we're just gonna drain it on some paper towels. Just to get as much grease out there as possible. We're gonna use some of that bacon grease later. About five strips of bacon, roughly chopped. Alrighty, so now it's basically just a dump method. We have the bacon, we have the cheese, the pound and a half of ground beef, the one packet of ranch seasoning, about three tablespoons of sour cream, and now we're just gonna incorporate all this together. Now that's all mixed up, I'm just gonna make roughly, you know, how many patties it makes. Uh, since we're not doing burgers, this is gonna be more of a chopped cheese. So we're gonna need this to lay on the, the griddle like a burger, but it's really not gonna matter. So I'm gonna look at roughly six to eight ounces. I'm not sure how much beef comes in the chopped cheese, but it's gotta be able to fit in your bun. I think by doing this, it's going to be interesting to see their video. Their video will come out before mine. Um, with the ingredients involved, you should be able to get one heck of a sear. I mean, you got the cheese crust, you got the sour cream, you got the seasoning. So we should get one heck of a crust. That's a goal anyways. That's why I was so excited doing it, especially with the chopped cheese. I think it'll work out perfectly. Reserving just a touch of that bacon grease. About 425 to 450. Add a nice chunk of butter and get those jalapenos and onions working. Give them a little shake that.
I'm just doing that to make a contact patch. The burgers are uneven, so that kind of helps thin them out. Something like that. Sounds crazy, but it just might work. A lot of people out there recommend using mayonnaise before you toast your buns. I thought about maybe using some of this ranch since we're going with the crack theme. Have you gone off the rails, honey? We're about to find out. It's either gonna be damn good or pretty good, one or the other, but kind of got ground beef and cheese together. I think it'll be all right. Hey, you don't know till you try. Don't knock it too, try it. So we're just gonna toast these up and then we'll take them off and then steam them with that beef in a second. Vessel's looking good. If you notice, I got them kind of off the heat. They're not necessarily on that extreme heat right there, just kind of getting tender. We can mix those in a little bit later. Incorporating that bacon fat left over and some of that butter. See how easy it is to come off the grill? Watch this. That's when you know at least this one's ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! So we toasted the bun, now we're steaming the bun. Ooh, you can feel that heat. So you recommend the glove because it's so hot? Oh yeah, I burned myself too many times and I do that. All right, so now let's dress them. Got some crumbled bacon. Just kind of set in there. Break that up a little bit. Diced tomato. The one thing obviously missing from this is the like ketchup, but I thought since toasting the bun with the ranch dressing kind of brings it all together and I didn't necessarily want to overpower it. Looks like it might be a fork sandwich. Oh no, that's perfect. <laughs> Should we that's wrap perfect. it in deli paper? Oh no, you don't need to. This thing's steamed to the max. <laughs> Well, that's about, I wanted the sandwich to calm down because I knew it was going to be hot. Two, my wife is taking 4,000 pictures because she thinks it's going to be incredible and I cannot wait to dive in. So It smells amazing. Disclaimer, we did add a little sprinkling of cheddar cheese and then torch it to make it look prettier for pictures. <laughs> it's not a pretty sandwich. Eat with your eyes, they say. Mm. <laughs> it smells amazing. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. <laughs> so it completely changes the texture of the meat mm. right it is soft it's moist it's more like a mushy meat style than it is like a a rough beef style mm. the flavor's on point i don't think i'm over the moon about it i think it's super good you do? <laughs> i can tell that it's got the crust on it and that's what i really thought would happen the like the deep crust sometimes i miss that i love that fact of it the bacon's kind of afterthought and the textured meat kind of throwing me off. It's more like a taco meat. Let's have another bite. <laughs> All right. Mm. I know it's. Try that one. Cause you had the top and I had the bottom. Now I had the bottom. You have the top. Mmm. Mmm. 
I think it's also because our bun got really soft. I like soft buns. But it's buttery toasty too. I, you know, would I change everything I do to make this every single time or give it like the top five Mount Rushmore? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You loved it. So would you have it like this again? Just depends on what mood you're in. It is good. I mean, you know me. I eat a lot Let of Let me tell you something. Cheese, salad and salmon. <laughs> so for me. <laughs> that's true. Cheese, bacon, ranch dressing, bread, you, and beef. You can't go wrong. Or another bite right now? Yeah. <laughs> Well, don't look at it. Mm. So there you go. There's my opinion. There's her opinion. She likes it more than I do, but I think it's fun to make these. Uh, like I said, I really appreciate Adam uh, for the phone calls, texts, going back and forth, and he gave us the idea, and we ran with it. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on the Girdle Group on Facebook, where I think this is starting to take hold. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, pictures of this going around, so we just made our twist on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Mm. I mean, you're talking about like a B plus. <laughs> I know you're used to A's. <laughs> and ranch and cheese and. Mm. Mm. Ow, that's my finger. <laughs>